Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So, today, guys, we do my UEFA Europa Conference League predictions for the quarterfinals match 2024, man. So, let me know your predictions in the comments below. And, yeah, guys, stay tuned to the end of this video to see here what my opinions are all up for the matchups. So, we're going to start first with the first match we got here is Aston Villa versus Lee. Aston Villa have done an amazing job. Una Emery's done an amazing job with this team. And I look at the players they have in this team. You got Ali Watkins, Emmy Martinez, Kansa, Matty Cash. This team has endless amount of talent and a depth. And you have to give Unai Emery a lot of credit. They've been, they're all support right now in the Premier League, uh, which is considered to be one of the best leagues in the world. Then they've been amazing at home this season. And Lille this season have also been great as well. You know, Lille this season ha are, you know, right now in the top four. And they're, they have a potential possibly to get the Champions League place. You know, Lille have done a really good job. And I really like this Lille team. They have some good ballers. I really like that, that Euro guy. That your center back is amazing. I think he's a bright young center back to look out for. His name is going to be huge. Obviously, got Jonathan David as well. The main talisman and Zegoville. For this matchup, man, how do I imagine this matchup is going to go? I think Leo is going to be playing a lot in the counterattack. I expect them to. They're going to be playing very counterattack minded. And keep in mind, the second leg is in France. So for Leo, I think the key for them to advance to this match and tie is to make sure they don't lose the first leg. If they can avoid a defeat the first leg, get a draw, or even win in England, then take it home the second leg, then you can grab the job done. Because for Aston Villa, as good as they have been, they haven't really been that great on the road. And that's where I have my concerns with Aston Villa, is that this is where I think. But with Unai Emery, man, we know how good he's in cup competitions. I just think that for me, I have to back Aston Villa here. I, I really want to see Lille do this. I want to see Lille do this, I think this will be huge for France because in my personal opinion, I I believe they have the best chance to win the European Cup of the three French clubs. But I just think that for me, Aston Villa have just too much class and I think Aston Villa is going to do this. Moving on to the next matchup we got here. It is Club Brugge versus Plock. Club Brugge, man, this is a great team. This is an amazing team. I think Club Brugge has been a fantastic team to watch. I really like how they're playing as a unit. They're goal scoring. Uh, Mingule has also been important. Then also you got uh, players like, you know, Nusa, Jukala as well. And they're going up against a Polk team. While they may not have the star power compared to the other teams, they still have some ballers. I like that Brandon guy, you know, that Johnny guy, and the trusty Kong, you know. And I think what this Polk team is that this team is so dangerous, especially in the counterattack. And I think Club Brugge is going to be playing with mostly possession-based and what I worry for Club Brugge is that defensively, they're very sketchy. Very sketchy. And at times, I've seen them, they're not very clinical in front of goal. And I think against a Pog team that we know is clinical, Paul can punish them. Paul can definitely punish them. And given the fact that at the time of recording this video, I don't know Mingle is going to be back for this game, he's a huge blow. Because if Mingle is not back, he's one of Club Brugge's most important players. And for Pog, I just think that they have so, they're, they're just such a good team. So well organized. And I think the second leg in Greece is such a huge advantage. I have to block Pog here. I think Pog's going to beat Club Brugge. This may be an upset. I know many people may disagree with me. I'm going to have to go with an upset. And this is my upset I have. Next up, it is Olympiakos versus Ferenbache. This is a big matchup for Olympiakos. Olympiakos, Jose Luis Mendebar has done a fantastic job with this team. Because after disastrous last season, how bad they were in the Europa League. They finished bottom of the group in a very doable group. They have really rectified that, really improved this season. And I think players look out for for this team are obviously Al Kabi, Borens, and Al Rabi. I really like that attacking for a line they have for Olympiakos. Whereas Ferenbachu, we know how good this team is. They have Livakovic, they have Tadic, they have Jeko, they have Fred. The team is stacked when it comes to ta uh, the team is stacked. And I think what's very interesting for Olympiakos is that this time around, the atmosphere for both games is going to be amazing. Both Turkey and in Greece, respectively. I'm really looking forward to these matchup pans out because this matchup, we're going to get some, and it's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be absolute scenes. And I think for this matchup, guys, I think the key for Olympiakos is to make sure they win the first leg. They have to win the first leg in Greece because the second leg's in Turkey. And we know how good Ferenbache is in Turkey. Ferenbache in Turkey is unbelievable. So I think for Olympiakos, they can get the job done. Because Olympiakos is one of those teams that are just like a very solid team. They know how to get the results. They can grind our results. Ferenbach, in my opinion, I feel like they're a bit too, I feel like they're a bit too top heavy, in my opinion. And I just feel like Olympiakos just have a more well-rounded team. 
So I'm actually going with Olympiacos to advance. I just think Olympiacos for me is just more well-coached team. I think Ferenbache, they have the bigger names, they have the better players, but I just think Olympiacos is just a better overall as a collective unit. And I think Olympiacos is going to knock Ferenbache out of the conference league, which is a which would be a big disappointment for Ferenbache. Coming up next, I have is Victoria Pleasant versus Fiorentina Mac. This is a big matchup. Victoria Pleasant, you know, I believe this is the only team that only conceded one goal this year in the conference league, which is quite outstanding. And this is a team that have been amazing in the conference league so far this season. You know, players like got four are obviously the goalkeeper who came a clutch in the 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 shootout against um Servette. Um his name is Jedlika. And then obviously got Chori as well, the striker. Fiorentina, man, they have been in abysmal form this year. They haven't been in great form this year. They've been really struggling, you know, and I think players look out for, obviously, um, you got Bonaventaro, you know, you got, um, obviously, Dodo, Kone as well. And I worry for Fiorentina in the sense that they're really, really struggling when it comes to goal scoring. And I think this is a match where Victor Plaza could do this. I think they have everything what it takes. But for Fiorentina, they're the massive favorites. They have to advance to this matchup. It would be a disgrace if they get eliminated to Victoria Pleasant in the Conference League. And yeah, I'm going to go with Fiorentina in advance. But let me just say this right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Victoria Pleasant does. I wouldn't be surprised because of how bad Fiorentina have been this year. So those are my predictions, guys, for this year's Conference League. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.